It's a quick and dirty way to clean your jelly plate. You ready? And this works on um, Teflon, these nonstick mats too. I showed this in a vlog recently. Packing tape. And then of course you can use the packing tape in your journals because you can stick it down to a uh, plain background. And whatever you can't get off, then you use a baby wipe and some hand sanitizer to clean it off. And then add a little bit of mineral oil with a paper towel to condition your, your jelly plate. But yeah, how cool is that? All right, none of that has anything to do with what we were gonna do. <laughs> So now we have all these embellishments and what we're going to do is we're going to cut them up to start with. Bring my chair over so I can sit down. So sometimes I just go through and I make a bunch of these um, sort of stamped off sheets of images. I'll sit and cut them by hand, or I'll do like this and I'll cut them with a the paper trimmer. I'll just have fun with it. So we're gonna cut these up. And then on some of them, you might want to this is an old Creative Memories quarter rounder, but you might wanna round the corners. Like that. Then I'm gonna take a piece of cardstock and this is craft cardstock this is from Hobby Lobby and it came already sized like this and it is uh, let's see four and a half by six and a half I'm gonna use this little small scoreboard that I have to score it down the middle so four and a half would be two and a quarter? No, I'm uh, sorry, six and a half would be three and a quarter. Then I'm gonna fold that on the score line. Y'all hear Lily? in the background walking around, I'm sure. Every time I say her name, she comes over. What, what, what? I know you want me for something. So then that makes a cute little mini card and you can put these embellishments in the middle. I'm gonna use a glue stick. I need a scrap of paper. There we go. You can use uh, any kind of glue or tape that you have. This happens to be handy. It was what was on my desk. So we're going to use that up. And then I'm going to center it in the card. Just going to eyeball it. And I'm going to take my clean rag and not my baby wipe, which is covered in paint. And I'm going to push it down onto the card. And you could just leave it like that. That makes a cute little card. They do make envelopes that go with these little cards. And I will um, 
click the link uh, for the listing of uh, where I get them, if it's still available in the description below, or I will put the information for the size card because there is, is a specific size ready-made envelope you can get for these. Um, and then I have some sentiment stickers from my Etsy shop. And you can, they're general sentiments that should work for almost all the holidays. Uh, there's some thank you, hello, congratulations, happy day, thinking of you. They could go for lots of different sentiments. And then you can just put one on the card like that. And how cute is that? How cute is that? So I'm going to make a whole bunch of these and I will show them to you when I get back. Okay, guys. So here are, camera's jiggly a little bit. There we go. So here are the completed cards that I made with just the few images I printed um, that I showed you. I didn't print any extra ones off camera. The only thing that I did was I have another digital download in my Etsy store that's filled with a bunch of images I've taken over the years with my cell phone, actually. And um, I printed had printed that so I could create the Etsy listing. I was looking at this piece of paper and go, you know, I'm going to cut a couple of those out and I'll make cards with them too. So a few of these are those. And the word stickers, again, are from the sentiments download also in my Etsy store. This is one of the images. Isn't that cool? It was just taken out on a walk in my neighborhood with, again, my cell phone. I love this, the way the stamps came out. Um, again, these little cards are made with craft colored cardstock. It's four and a half by six and a half. I usually keep my pretty sentiments pretty general, and that way I can grab it, whether it's for a thank you card or I want to send a friend a birthday, maybe a gift card, and I want to write him a quick note, happy birthday. I can just grab one of these. Of course, not one that says thank you, maybe one that says hello. And um, I have usually a basket of them. I'll show you in a minute. It's like right there off camera. But didn't these turn out cute? Now, of course, these were designed for using use with mixed media, but they make really great cards. This was done with a rainbow stamp pad in the background. And my rainbow pad's getting a little muddy, but... It's still beautiful. So I hope that these give you some ideas of what you can do with simple materials. You don't need anything complicated. Here's that one that I messed up with the brayer. I love the way it turned out. That one's really cool too. So anyway, obviously, as you can tell, the moon is my favorite. So these will work, of course, with my products. You can do it with any products. Um, but there are some really great digital downloads in my Etsy shop that will do this with. Um, here are some ones I've made in the past. I've shown these here on YouTube. These are with scrapbooking papers, um, embellishments, again, from some of my other rubber stamp sets that I stamped and then colored. And then these words are from my stash of words cut out of magazines. Or in this case, this is one that's from a scrapbooking collection of die cuts. And I have these too, I use them for the same thing. And you'll notice that a, th a theme, the words are usually pretty general. That's a piece of stenciled uh, painty papers in the background with my feather stamp. So I, I, I keep a basket of these around, it's always around. Um, the envelopes that I got that fit these perfectly are A1 size envelopes. I got them on Amazon, I will, Link it in the description below if I can still find them. I hate making envelopes. There's a fun fact about me. I actually I can make cards. I like to make cards every now and then. I'll just stamp a bunch of stuff and make a bunch of cards, but I hate making envelopes. So I usually keep this little bin of stuff that's made, and I keep the card envelopes in here, and that I'm, I'm just I'm all ready to go. I have a few store-bought things and things friends have given me that I can use and send out here in the back, but I love the little ones. Anyway, I hope it gives you something, um, some ideas of what you can do with my products and others. And if you would like to um, buy any of the digital downloads or rubber stamp sets or anything out of my Etsy shop, um, there is a discount code in the video description. Use it at checkout for 20% off. 
And uh, that's it for right now. I hope you all go out and have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support my channel if you will. And um, there is a link in the description called Linktree. And in it, you will find all my links to all my social media, my, Amaz my PayPal tip jar, my Amazon affiliate link, my Etsy shop, and every other way that it's possible to support me and the YouTube channel and the free content. So I would appreciate you doing those. That's it for right now. I hope you all go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.